Many people in the world do suffer from poverty, and we are very fortunate that we have major corporations in our world of manufacturing our food and food processing of cans that are willing to donate to a legitimate, non-for-profit food pantry. We also know that a lot of companies will not donate during a time of COVID if they're restaurants because of what could happen to the liabilities of their employees. What I have absolutely noticed when I have been studying a couple companies and how they handle their garbage is how poorly they care for our environment. And that poor care of our environment shows to people who walk by there, who drive by there, who see your employees fucking around with your garbage. Most garbage bags in a restaurant are way too large for proper handling of food. Most companies should be changing their food disposal into better recycling and not in a basin uh, based on any employee's willingness or testiness or mood. What I have suggested from for every company is that they need to go to 13 gallon size uh, garbage cans that are lined up in a row. So as a employee who is a restauranteur or someone who is a waiter or waitress comes back through the kitchen and through the door that is for that or near the area that handles that is that they openly are very carefully with their gloves on their hands pushing the food with the knife or fork that is left on the plate into the different disposals. You put meat and bones into one disposal. You put vegetables and things like corn into another disposal. Lettuce might not want to go in there because it decomposes so quickly and can ruin everything. That might be truly in something that goes into the actual environment as a sort of a mulch substitute, but I can't be sure. Potatoes, french fries, and bread can pretty much all go in the same receptacle, according to God, who is openly not dead. And other aspects of our disposal, like a bucket for ice that can be thrown out in the yard and used to melt on our garden is fine. Most beverages will not call too many bugs, and maybe companies have to start moving away from carbonated soda, but people do love them today. Offering a lot more fruit juices, offering a lot more lemonade and tea can change an environment, can t change the quality of a restaurant. But it's doubtful that people would stop going if we didn't have soda pump, but I'm not disparaging any company like Pepsi or Coke. What I can tell you is that the people handling your food are mainly blokes, but sometimes they're young women who cannot pick up that garbage bag and stick it up in your large bin. So by going to smaller 13 si gallon size garbage, any employee, regardless of age or demographic, can help to work on the disposal of what you sell. When it comes to papers and napkins and what you produce for the daily menu for your restaurant, all of that can go into its own receptacle. Anything paper, anything plastic can be separated out too. So in your restaurant you have this marvelous system that might be even color coded to help your employees. You could buy one color garbage can of five or six different color garbage type of cans to help your employees remember their job. The same color plastic bags of course work, but what they're doing then is tying them up as soon as they're full and out the garbage goes. Every employee then is responsible if they see it's starting to overflow for picking that up and running it out. It's not hard. You might even have an actual cart that has no room other than for garbage on it where the employee can just stack up the bags and go out, throw it out, and bring that cart right back in to where it belongs. You see, you can actually stack those garbage cans right on that cart and the employee just pushes the cart right out goes right out to the garbage, pulls those plastic bags out without having any problems to their body in the terms of what we like to call ergonomics. And openly, I'm always noticing how a kitchen or a short order chef type of kitchen, like maybe a quick fast burger joint, doesn't think about how they have their kitchen laid out, where their employees are doing a lot of walking back and forth. That shouldn't be really happening. A man who's working at the grill shouldn't have to really leave the grill area. A sous chef that handles the toppings of a uh, piece of food shouldn't have to move too much from that area. Your french fries should not be located behind someone. 
they really should be everything in a line. And everything that in that line should be able to be gotten without any problem by the employee. I'm always amazed at how much walking and how many steps an employee takes. And maybe your company should be giving away those little bitty walk pedometers, and I don't know how they're called exactly, where they're counting steps. And that would allow the, re the restaurant or the company to really see how much activity is going on.